what's up and welcome back today i'm going to be showing what i pack in my hospital bag and uh, because this is going to be our first baby and we have watched like tons of videos and talked to our doctors what's provided what's not provided and honestly saw so many videos that um, told us what to pack and what not to pack and the one thing that they said do not over pack so we tried our best uh, to gain knowledge from all the videos and pack our bag. I am 36 weeks and Four days today, so I thought it's high time to pack our bag and be ready because the baby might wait, might come anytime And I'm excited to share it with you guys. So let's get started We are carrying one suitcase and we have divided it into three parts. This is for myself This is my husband's and this is the baby's all right, first thing I have here is a water bottle and from uh, other people's experience I've heard that you are very thirsty when you breastfeed so here it is and then I have a warm uh, clothing for myself if I'm cold because I'm delivering during December like it's winters so and then I also have a hat just in case this is a personal choice it's up, absolutely up to you whether you want to do this or not but i have a matching robe with a matching swaddle for the baby uh, for the first picture so here is that and another robe very light just in case and then i have a going home outfit uh, one thing to consider for the going home outfit that it has it should be loose and comfortable so you know after all the experience you don't want to wear anything tight so i have a loose dress for myself and another thing is pjs so anything that is comfortable i have this pj these are button up pjs um one thing i heard this you want to wear something accessible uh, so that the baby is easily accessible to your boob. <laughs> so I have buttoned ones very soft very comfortable the same thing another t-shirt dress very accessible to the boob <laughs> That is a must. I have uh, socks in here two pairs of socks that has grip uh, Just so to be just so I'm comfortable in the hospital and then I have these uh, pillow slippers. I heard a lot of good reviews. They are super soft. I wore, have been wearing them for a few days just to check them out. And I love them. So one thing that is important you want to carry is waterproof um, slippers to your hospital. Because I have heard so many people say in their videos that hospital bathrooms are not like restaurant bath, uh, Not restaurant. Uh, hotel bathrooms. So make sure you carry water resistant slippers so you can wear them and take bath. This bag is... Uh, full of um, my postpartum kit even though the hospital provides every single thing I am just carrying one of each just in case because um, uh, I want to stay extra comfortable and the always discreet um, pads are the highly rated most like most worn um, postpartum pads that are underwear pads basically so they look something like this like so so that is why uh, I wanted to keep them with me and the second most important pads are your nipple pads because you might leak so here are those nipple pads I have disposable underwear and ice pack pads uh, I just got I just have two of them because the hospital provides uh, so and by the way these are all from Frida mom so they are really amazing the perineal cooling pad liners perineal healing foam Everything I have for my postpartum is from a Frida Mom 5 step kit and uh, you can get it anywhere, Walmart, Target but I'll still post the link in the description box below so you can check it out and the pad, underwear pads are from uh, Always Discreet. Personal care item uh, that we are carrying is our toiletries. So anything, everything travel size, small, just so after delivery you want to take bath, you want to feel good, you want to feel fresh. I have brush, toothpaste, body wash, um, shampoo, conditioner, just all tra travel size. Nothing too big, nothing too small, nothing too much because you're only there for a couple of days. So toiletries must have and uh, your bag of little bit of makeup whatever you want to carry it's again personal choice i just feel good when i have my lip balm on my compact on uh, it's gonna make me feel good take good photos over there so i'm gonna have a little pack of my uh, makeup bag and also because i'm delivering in winters 
I'm gonna carry my heating pad. This is just like a personal size heating pad. And I'm just gonna throw it in here. One thing that I've heard people uh, say is to carry some snacks. So I have uh, Fox Nuts over here, different flavors. And protein bars, again, different flavors. I wanna carry, I wanted to carry something uh, nutritious and not super junk like chips and all that stuff. Okay, now time for the baby stuff. Uh, I'm not gonna show you all the stuff because I wanna keep it as a surprise like the going home outfit and all that stuff. But I'm gonna uh, definitely tell you everything. I have a wearable blanket because it's gonna be December. So this is a wearable blanket and I have a couple of diapers. Even though the hospital provides everything, just a couple, like two or three. And then burp cloth um receiving blanket and diaper cream and body lotion and some swaddles also last but not the least i have the nursing pillow so don't forget to carry that because i'm sure it's gonna be super helpful i haven't experienced yet but i'm sure it's gonna be also i have this bag that i'm carrying carrying as my purse i'm gonna have my phone my charger and some personal items in it it has one hand sanitizer for now and then my birth plan that I'm gonna give it, hand it over when I reach the hospital. And uh, I have a couple of gift cards for the uh, for the hospital staff who are gonna assist me for two days. So we have a couple of gift cards to thank them. And uh, my wallet and insurance and everything is gonna be in here. Hey guys, so it's time what to pack for the dad. So, uh, for myself, particularly, I'm in charge of two most important things, the tech gadgets and obviously my own clothing because Tanya walked you through through everything. Also, I'm gonna I'm taking care of all the documentation part. Uh, so let's just start with the documentation, what you need to pack. It's simple, go check your state government guidelines. You'll probably find out what they require and just take a couple of printouts. Normally, it's just gonna be your state ID or whatever ID with your photo on it you have. Uh, so beside that, a couple of address proofs I'm keeping, uh, uh, and that's it. Like there's no rocket science to it, but again, refer to your state requirements so you can keep the required documents. And hospital is gonna guide you through every step of the process, uh, so don't worry about it at all. Uh, Second thing, what I'm packing for myself. Um, so I have my real simple pack over here. Obviously, a couple of underwears, a uh, couple of loose, uh, like just like t-shirts and lowers. And that's it. And something to whatever I wear to go to the hospital and something to come back. That's it. Uh, since you are only going to be there for... <coughs> Since you're gonna be there for only a couple of days, uh, I like Tanya said, don't wanna overpack, so it's uh, just loose, comfortable clothing that you can walk around and assist your wife in the most comfortable way. Part number three, tech gadgets. So obviously, I'm sure you must have seen your hospital guidelines that what you can record, take pictures, and all of that. Uh, normally, everything is allowed in the hospital room. So I am gonna show you my tech gadget. I have my camera bag over here and uh, uh, there are a couple of things uh, normally this is my camera bag i'm gonna just take it and i'm gonna have everything in there but just make sure that you have the highlight is extra long charging cable this is a 12 feet charging cable for your phones and stuff um, because everybody has been telling us don't forget to take the extra long charging cable so that's that and then make sure you have extra batteries your batteries are charged take the charger of your batteries with them i have my uh insta 360 camera uh and a regular camera that i'm shooting on and my phone so just in case you know all bases covered you don't want to miss the moment that you are there to capture and then i also have the uh, selfie stick, the Insta360 invisible stick, and uh, our gimbal is in there, our phone gimbal, uh, and the tripod. So those are like kind of all the gadgets that I'm taking around with me. I may not end up using the gimbal, but Insta360 is what, and the camera is what I'm trying to, I'm gonna use. Um, again, uh, extra long cable, that's the must. So don't forget to keep it, extra batteries, 
keep them charged at all times three weeks before the delivery uh, because you never know when your wife is gonna say it's time to go uh, so that's it that's pretty much it uh, for me all right so that was it for the yes. hospital bag if you guys have any questions concerns comments uh you think we missed something please feel free there's still time you can yeah, put it in the comment not. box uh reach out to us on our instagram account um and if you have any questions uh let us know we are gonna happy to be answer all the links like tanya said is gonna be in the description box yes uh, for the things that we have used uh and the reason why we have all these cameras is because we want to record the entire birth birthing process yeah so so it just has good memories and we can share with you guys so, exactly yeah. so um that's it for today's vlog. I hope you guys liked it. Uh, yeah. Don't forget to show, subscribe, share, like. If it's useful for somebody, do share yeah. and let us know what you think about it. Uh, super excited. Yes. So we are going to see you in our next vlog. Until then, bye-bye.